here's a simple chord progression. That works just fine, but what if we want to spice this up with a little more movement? Well, one easy way of doing that is to throw in a diminished 7th chord. A fully diminished 7th chord, or just diminished 7th chord for short, is the structure we get when we stack three minor thirds on top of a root note. Diminished 7th chords sound extremely dark and unstable. This means they're actually really useful. We can use them to create a strong expectation of resolution. Think of the diminished 7th chord as a way of targeting or leading into certain other chords. The most common pattern for diminished 7th chords is to resolve up a half step. Here's that progression of ours again. So let's try inserting a diminished 7th chord that leads up a half step into the E minor chord. In this particular case, we also happen to be approaching the diminished 7th chord itself with half step up motion. You don't always have to do it this way, but it does tend to work really well. Another effective diminished 7th chord pattern is resolving down a half step. Here's an example. We can also approach a chord with a diminished 7th chord built on the same root note. This works especially well on the 1 and 5 chords. These are called auxiliary diminished 7th chords. This is a great technique for delaying resolution to the target chord, or creating extra harmonic motion in an otherwise static moment. So, fully diminished 7th chords are really versatile and useful. Their extremely tense sound makes the relief of the following chord feel that much sweeter. As always, this is merely an introduction to a whole world of possibilities, so get experimenting and see what you can come up with. Here's a little writing prompt to get you started. Write a chord progression in any style. Make it at least 8 bars long, but feel free to go as long as you want, and try to include at least one of each diminished 7th chord pattern. You can add a melody and additional arrangement if you want, but the main idea here is just to get a feel for the chords themselves. Post whatever you come up with in the comments so we can all take a look. You know, we're sharing ideas, maybe we're learning a thing or two from each other, it's gonna be great. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Also check out my Patreon page. The purpose of this channel is to offer free music education to the world, and your contributions make that possible.